Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming, and sometimes hair. So if that sounds like your thing, make sure you are subscribed. Also, come and follow me on Instagram where I post stuff you're not gonna see here on YouTube. It's the end of the month again, which means I bring to you some of my favorite products I've been using over the past month, some new products that I'm looking forward to taking into the next month, and generally products that I feel like I really want to share with you. And we're gonna have some non-Korean products in here, which is a little bit weird, but I've been trying to branch out, you know, trying to like uh, put my foot in the door of more the Western world where I actually live. But we are going to start off with a Korean brand and we're going to start off with the Purito Santella Green Level Safe Sun. This is of course a sunscreen with an SPF of 50 plus, PA plus 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 plus. This is a broad spectrum sunscreen that's very, very gentle on the skin as the name suggests. Safe sun. <laughs> All sunscreens are safe, like they're not going to kill you. But this this has very little irritation on the skin. Not that all sunscreens do have irritation, but you may find that some might make you itch, you might react to some when you don't to others. And recently, my eyes have been struggling with a chemical sunscreen. Um, they start to sting a little bit, um, which is worrying. Also, when my skin's irritated, it's bad, but I don't like applying sunscreen but this has been perfectly gentle on my skin. And what's nice about this as well is this is infused with 70%, I think it said? Yes, yeah, 70% of moisturizing agents, which you can really, really feel in here. Your skin feels like nice and soft after. Your skin looks very nice and soft after. It's also infused with centella, uh, hyaluronic acid, and tocotherol um, to keep your skin feeling moisturized and looking plump and moisturized. It's a really, really good sun screen. Um, something else I was going to say, I, I've i mentioned this before. When did I mention this? I showed this in my Yes Style haul and a lot of comments were saying how they don't think this covers, sorry, they don't believe this blocks all UV rays. I think in particular it was UVA2 due to one of the UV filters in this sunscreen. I'm not going to pronounce it because <laughs> it's impossible, but here it is. Um, but that's not correct. What I'll do is I'll link you to a blog post from Lab Muffin Beauty Science. If you haven't checked her out, check her out. She talks about about this UVA filter when she's reviewing the Claire's um, Soft Airy UV Essence um, sunscreen, which uses the same UV filters as this one. To cut a long story short, they work. They work absolutely fine. Next up, my first non-Korean product for a very, very long time. This is Vichy. Vichy or Vichy? I feel like it's Vichy. Mineral 89 Hyaluronic Acid Booster Serum. Now, I'm not bragging or boasting, but I do get gifted a fair amount of skincare nowadays. And to be 100% honest, unless the brand has been like, pick a product and sent it to me, if they've just kind of sent something my way, it's very unlikely it makes its way onto this channel or even into my skincare drawers. It kind of gets gifted back. And it's kind of the reason that I've started turning down a lot of gifted items too. But Vichy is a brand, <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, I'm saying that wrong. Vichy is a brand that a lot of people have been asking me to review over on Instagram and here and in real life as well. People are like, have you ever tried it? And I'm like, actually, no. Oh, I've tried one of their products. That was like a face wash mask three in one kind of thing. So when they got in touch um, and asked if I wanted to try their serum, I was like, yes, please. Um, mainly because the bottle looks so good. So, so good. Um, but this is, of course, a hyaluronic acid serum containing sodium hyaluronate as well as their trademark thermal mineralizing water. And and glycerin in there too. So not only is it nicely moisturizing, but this has a texture and feel of water on the skin. It's cooling and refreshing and is, maybe I should hold it there. It's cooling and refreshing and feels so light on the skin. It's kind of crazy like how it does just kind of like skim over your skin. Yet it's amazing at keeping my skin feeling um, hydrated and soft and plump, retaining moisture. I believe this is 22 pounds um, and I think it's well worth it. I've actually been using it like all like most of the month. When I first used it, I used about three pumps, which was way too much. I use one and it's more than enough to cover like all my face. Um, I like this a lot, like a lot, a lot. So speaking of light and hydrating, this has the same kind of feeling. This is the Dr. Jar Water Fuse Ultimate Hydro Gel. It's fast become my daily like morning moisturizer, especially when I want to look like really dewy and like glowy. This is a gel textured cream that keeps your skin feeling super, super hydrated whilst kind of keeping your oils at bay as well. It's difficult to get that kind of in between of a good hydrating moisturizer without feeling like oil slick by the end of the day, but this manages to do it. It 
also gives my skin this kind of like bouncy look where you just want to like bounce off it because it looks so like plump and um, shiny. I use this when my skin was a little bit sensitive and had no irritation whatsoever. Again, felt like water on the skin. Again, you only need the tiniest amount. Usually with gel moisturizers, I have to use a fair bit to kind of feel well moisturized, but this, the tiniest bit does all the, all the work it needs to do, it does the job. So this has niacinamide, glycerin, uh, sodium hyaluronate, and aloe. So a lot of my favorite ingredients in my new favorite moisturizer. Um, I love this, well worth it. Dr. Jar, I've never been massively impressed with, I have to be honest. Um, and this is the first product of theirs that I've absolutely loved. Another non-Korean brand that I get asked to review all the time is Pixie. So when I was in Boots, which is like the UK pharmacy drugstore, I picked up their hydration Hydrating Milky Mist. Hydrating, milky, two words I really, really like. I've used their Glow Tonic before, um, which is, I believe is an AHA, and it's good, it does the job. So they describe this as a feather light mist that provides instant hydration. And it does, it really does. Um, it's got hyaluronic acid in here, black oat, pro-vitamin A and linoleic acid. Linoleic acid to help kind of like rejuvenate the skin and generally nourish and hydrate. And I do like this, like you spray like a little bit of mist before you apply your sunscreen if you want the added boost of hydration. Um, I also apply it to my neck and my decolletage as like a quick way to get moisturizer onto there if I'm in a bit of a rush. And I really, really like it. It's um, hydrating without being oily. If you do have oily skin though, you, it's very easy to overuse this. One problem with this, one negative, and I find it with a lot of the Pixie stuff, is it's got a very unnecessary fragrance in it, and I believe it's rose. We all know that fragrances um, can be irritating. Even if you haven't found them irritating your whole life, you can have a a sudden reaction to them. I'm personally not bothered by them. They don't irritate my skin as of yet, so it's not something I avoid. But this has a rosy kind of smell to it, like a Turkish Delight rose smell, which I just think doesn't suit the product whatsoever. First of all, I hate the smell of rose. It's, it's one of those smells that just makes me like, I don't know, like there's something about a hydr like milky and hydrating that doesn't quite suit rose. Do you know what I mean? Like if it was like deeply, like it was an oil or a um, thick nighttime moisturizer, rose kind of makes sense, I guess. But I don't know what I would have expected with this. Like, I don't know, like, I guess, I don't know, vanilla or um, melon or I don't know, something, it just doesn't feel right. So yeah, other than that, I like this and it's not enough to completely put me off the product. And finally, a product that I have you to thank um, because literally everyone was non-stop telling me to try this. Um, as I mentioned, I thought I'd tried it before, but I got completely the wrong product. This is Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence SPF 50 Plus, PA++++. This is the 2019 edition. So as I mentioned, a ton of you guys asked me to review this after my sunscreen video. I have a lot of sunscreens that sink into the skin, look great on the skin, but this is like another level good. Like I don't, there's, I don't, there's not much difference, but the texture of this is light, but still a little bit hydrate, not hydrating, but it doesn't like, um, oh, I don't know. It's light, it's non-drying, it like glides over the skin. And I feel like this makes my skin look really good. Like um, I've got it on now and I feel like the sun kind of reflects off my skin and any kind of blemish. This just sinks through my beard as well, well my facial hair. And it's so easy to apply. Like I'm really confident taking this out of me and applying it without a mirror because I know how quickly this rubs in and how easy it is to kind of like just glide around the face. I love it, the smell is, a little bit sunscreeny, like it smells like sunscreen, which it is, so that makes sense. But you know, it's, it's got that kind of like day at the beach kind of smell to it, which I'm not a huge fan of, but the texture more than makes up for this. I'm going to order like, 10 more of these because I am going through this so, so quick. So there we have my May favorites. As always, I want to know what you guys have been loving, what else you think I should try. Also, any new brands? I'm kind of feeling a bit stagnant with like, the brands that are around at the moment. I feel like a lot of them are just pumping out products for the sake of it. So if you know any new kind of indie brands or up and coming brands, please let me know in the description box down below. But that is it for me now, guys. I will see you next time.